Hey there, felters. This video is the first stop on your pizza felting adventure. I'll be showing you how to make the crust and the sauce for your felted pizza. First, I wanna get out my felting needles and take one off of the card. I'll stab it in my blue foam pad so it's ready for me to use. I'm starting with a puffy wool pre-felt base and I wanna sculpt it into a pizza-like shape. So first, I'll work on the crust. I lay my pre-felt onto the blue foam and start to fold down the crust. Then I use my felting needle to tack it down. The felting needle grabs the fibers and attaches them together. Notice that my fold is pretty short. I didn't do a big fold for the crust because then my pizza slice will end up really short. Here's a close-up of how I'm working on the crust. I notice right away that that top cut edge of the pre-felt wants to kind of fray and pull apart. I'm not paying too much attention to that, just holding it down with my left hand and felting it with my right. After two or three minutes of felting, the fibers are starting to really attach with that first fold. I peel it off of the blue foam and take a look. I want my crust to be more of a big bump, so I'm gonna do one more little half fold and tack that down with the felting needle. Make sure your fold isn't too big here, otherwise your slice will end up really short. The way I'm felting here is really important. I'm using the felting needle only at that connection point where the fold meets the base of the crust. Right now, try not to stab your needle into the puffy crust. Too much stabbing will flatten it out. Felting down the rolled crust is probably the most difficult part of what you're going to do with your felted pizza. So I'm going to leave the camera running here so you can really watch how I do it. The most common mistake that people make here is they rush through this step. I'll probably spend 10 minutes total just working on shaping my crust. When I compare my slice to a finished one, the crust looks pretty good, but that main flat part of the slice is really puffy still. So now I'll use my felting needle and just stab straight through the flat part of the slice into the blue foam. I can feel my needle going through the blue foam as I'm stabbing it. After 15 minutes of work, here's the state of my slice. I want to fine tune it a little bit more before I move to the next step. You should have a nice flat slice with a puffy round crust before you move on. Now it's time to add some color to the crust. I'll do this by felting on carded wool that's dyed in different colors. I'm working with a palette of gold, tan, and beige. I'll start with a base of vibrant gold. Here I have my fiber and I need to unroll it a little bit. Then I'll pull off a short piece. Just a little pinch of fiber will do. I'll lay my pinch right onto the crust and hold it down. 
Then I use the felting needle to go through the gold and attach it to the crust. I know, I told you you're not allowed to stab through the crust, but now I give you permission. Once that's attached, I can use the next little piece of gold to cover more of the crust. It's better here to use more small pieces of the gold as opposed to trying to cover the entire thing with a giant chunk. My crust is covered, but you can see from my sample here that the crust color comes down a little ways. So I'm going to extend that gold about half an inch down below the crust onto the flat part of the slice. Now I want to lay some tan over the top of the gold to soften the brightness of it. I'm pulling off just a small short piece of the tan and then stretching it out. I want it to look kind of like a spider's web so I can see lots of air in between. My goal is to use such a thin piece that I can still see the gold shining through underneath the tan. I lay my little spider's web of tan over the top of the crust and then I'll felt it on. Use less fiber than you think here. You can always add more if you don't have enough. Here's my crust with the gold base and the tan spider webby layer over the top. Notice the crust on the left. I added some flecks of dark red onto the crust so it kind of looks like pieces of cheese got burned on there. This is optional, but I'm going to show you how to do it in case you want your slice to look super realistic. I've got some brick red fiber here and I pull off a little piece. From there, I pull off a small wisp and lay it onto the crust. I'm gonna felt several of these onto my crust just here and there with no particular pattern. The final shading technique I'll use is add just a little bit of beige over the top of the whole crust. I'm using the same technique here as the tan. I pull off a little piece and stretch it into a very thin spider webby texture. Then I take that little spider web, lay it on top of the crust and felt it on. The beige is a particularly nice touch if you did the burned on cheese. It unifies all the colors and textures and it makes the crust look very realistic. This red fiber looks so dramatic compared to all the subtle colors from the crust. I'm going to attach it to the whole base of my pizza. I just pull off little short pieces, lay it onto my pizza, and attach it with the felting needle. Just like with the gold, it works better here to use more smaller pieces and layer it up than to try and cover the entire slice with one big chunk.
I'm gonna add a little sauce detail here. I like to put a little thin strip of brick red right on that line where the sauce meets the crust. I'm rolling the brick red in my fingertips a little bit so I have kind of a thin strand of the fiber. Then I'll just lay it on the slice and felt it right on. It's finally cheese time. The key with the cheese is you don't want to put it on too thick. It's best if it looks a little patchy so that there's some thick white spots and some thin spots where you can see the red sauce underneath. I'm using white fiber for my cheese. Now that you've made your base slice, you can add whatever toppings you want. Choose a video and make the next topping of your choice. You can make as many as you want until you feel like your slice is complete. Happy felting!